Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Tuesday, July 6th, 2021. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. I hope you had a fantastic long weekend. I sure did. The Annapolis Maritime Museum invited me to sail in with the tall ships on Friday afternoon into the harbor with the fireboats and everything else. And that was an amazing sight to be out there in the harbor on those ships as they're coming in. Unbelievable. Saturday, I marched in the parade with leadership Anne Arundel. And to be honest, I much prefer watching a parade rather than being in it. Like they say, unless you're the lead dog, the view never changes. And then, of course, Sunday was the incredible fireworks display after a Dexter Burger at Galway Bay. And our fireworks didn't explode before the show. So take that, Ocean City. Okay, it is the start of a short week, and there is a lot to get you caught up upon. So let's get into it, shall we? All right, follow along if you can. A while back, Governor Hogan said that he was ending the federal unemployment program that gave the unemployed peeps an additional $300 a week. It was supposed to end on Saturday. He said there are plenty of jobs and businesses looking for employees. The unemployed peeps freaked out and basically sued the governor. Well, on Friday, Baltimore Circuit Court judge said, wait a minute, and issued a temporary restraining order. The unemployed rejoiced. The governor appealed and the appeals court threw it out, sending it back down to the circuit court. The unemployed rejoiced again for now. But sending it back, it sets up a conference between both sides as early as today to make a final decision on the case. The unemployed fretted, but my bet is that like County Executive Pittman, the governor is going to lose this battle. At 3 a.m. on July 3rd, the Annapolis police were called to Anne Arundel Medical Center for a shooting victim. A 13-year-old was being treated for a gunshot wound to the leg. And when questioned, he said that he had accidentally shot himself while at an address on Ben's Drive in the Bay Ridge Gardens community. But it doesn't seem like police are buying this, and the detectives are looking for more answers. If you have them, give them a ring at 410 260 and just after 7 a.m. on July 4th, the Anne Arundel County Police were in the Bay Ridge community investigating a report for a missing person. While they were there, they discovered a body in the waters of Lake Ogleton off of East Lake Drive. Details have not been released just yet, so it's unknown if the body is that of the one that they were looking for or someone else. We do expect more details and information a little bit later on this morning, so you want to make sure you're checking back at ionanapolis.net for an update. Now, this is a really cool story. There's a fire department called the Chestnut Ridge Fire Department in Sneedville, Tennessee, population 1486. Now, Sneedville's only fire engine broke and was not operable, so all they had was a homemade tanker and a brush fire truck, most likely a Jeep. Enter the Ferndale Volunteer Fire Company up in Linthicum. They had a 1994 engine that was about to be replaced, and they were planning on selling their old engine. But they heard of the need in Tennessee and decided to donate it to them. How cool is that? And to boot, they are now adopting the fire department in Tennessee. And I suspect there will be tied to a lot more equipment swapping and tool swapping and gear headed down to rural Tennessee in the future. What a great way to be a good neighbor. Speaking of good neighbors, Homestead Gardens is always looking for ways to help the community, and recently they found a need in Robinwood and Harbor House communities of Hakka. They donated a truckload of plantains to help beautify the properties, and together with residents and a handful of Rotarians, they planted the place up. Thank you, Homestead, for always being a good neighbor. And, by the way, their float in the parade on Saturday was off the hook sharp. And as we start to wrap it up, it was so great to see unmasked crowds this weekend. It is a sure sign that things are returning to normal. And here's another one. The Let's Go Music Festival. It is happening at the Anne Arundel County Fairgrounds on July 16th and 17th. Tickets are available at letsgofest.com and the VIP is already sold out. However, they do have general admission tickets still available. 
Friday night is basically a lot of local bands, and Saturday is going to feature the Gin Blossoms, Sugar Ray, and Smash Mouth, along with some other regional bands and a DJ. Again, letsgofest.com is where you want to go for tickets, and they are selling pretty quickly, I hear. And if jazz jazzes you up a bit, here's another one to put on your calendar. Jazz on the Narrows. It'll be a three-day festival August 13th through 16th at the Kent Island Yacht Club. And this one will feature some incredible musicians, and it is put together by literally jazz royalty. Muddy Water's daughter, who I didn't realize is a local resident, her name is Mercy, and she is putting this whole thing on. Tickets are on sale now at, appropriately enough, jazzonthenarrows.com. So go get your tickets right now. And I am so glad to see festivals coming back. That's just makes my heart feel good. All right, that's it for the news today. But first, a quick thank you to the sponsor for the Daily News Brief, Solar Energy Services up in Millersville, and to the Christy Neidhart team of Northrop Realty, a long and foster company, and to Rehab to Perform, who will be opening up at 1750 Forest Drive very soon. All righty, now hang tight. George Young from DCMDVA Weather is here with your locally forecast weather, and he'll be here right after we hear from Rick Peters from Solar Energy Services. Are you interested in an exciting career in one of the hottest industries of the next decade? At Solar Energy Services, we're currently hiring solar installers, crew leaders, service techs, and sales representatives with immediate needs in all categories. Are you feeling uninspired in your current job and want more meaningful work where you can make a positive impact every day? Do you like the idea of being part of the team that installs solar panels on residential rooftops, commercial rooftops, or ground-mounted arrays for entire communities to use? Or maybe you're a good troubleshooter and communicator who likes solving interesting technical problems. Whatever your preference, the upside of working in the solar industry is tremendous. Contact us today about joining a great company with a rewarding culture and an inspiring mission. Call us at 410-923-6090 or visit us at solarsaves.net. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMD VA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Tuesday, July 6th. Yesterday brought a return to heat and humidity after a pretty nice holiday weekend, and summertime conditions will remain in place for the foreseeable future. Look for plenty of sunshine today with humid temps in the 90s, followed by more of the same tomorrow with a slight chance of PM storms both days as heat index values each day jump up into the 95 to 105 degree range. As for Thursday and Friday, it'll be upper 80s to lower 90s both days with a likelihood of some rain each day, especially as the remnants of what is tropical storm Elsa moves by to the south and east of the region, bringing some breezy conditions as well, but nothing too severe should be associated with that storm. And it'll be more upper 80s to lower 90s for the weekend, with Saturday looking fairly dry, while a return of PM storms could be in the mix on Sunday. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of D.C., MDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to get our free app on all of your devices by searching D.C., MDVA Weather in the Apple or Google App Stores. And also be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And use our website each day by visiting D.C., mdvaweather.com so you can always stay weather informed another moving moment from christy neidhart of the christy neidhart team from northrop realty a long and foster company hi i'm christy neidhart my team and i often get asked is now a good time to make a move the answer is absolutely with interest rates the lowest they've been in nearly 50 years and inventory in high demand now is the time to let us earn your trust Whether you're looking to relocate, downsize, or find the home of your dreams, my team and I will guide you through the process and find exactly what you are looking for. Serving people is a passion of mine, and it's what my team does best. That's the Neidhart difference. That's another moving moment from Christy Neidhart. To get in touch, call 410-295-6579 or visit kn-team.com. That's kn-team.com. Cancer will touch everyone in some way at some point in time. In 2021, nearly 35,000 Marylanders will be diagnosed with some form of cancer. 
It's a diagnosis we all hope never to hear, but there is some encouraging news. The five-year survival rate for all cancers has increased to nearly 70% in the past 50 years, and many cancers are treatable. From diagnosis through treatment, living with cancer is trying not only for the patient, but for family and loved ones as well. It's a team effort, and Wellness House is part of that team with free services and programs for children, teens, adults, patients, and families. Wellness House offers the strength and support needed so a cancer patient can focus on recovery and healing. Wellness is rising at Wellness House of Annapolis, where we are transforming health into wellness beyond a cancer diagnosis. To find out more about our programs or to support our mission, visit AnnapolisWellnessHealth.org. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, IonAnnapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at IonAnnapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.